humans are not the main source of carbon dioxide. Humans produce a um, small fraction in the single digits percentage-wise of the CO2 that is produced in the atmosphere. Volcanoes produce more CO2 each year than all the factories and cars and planes and other sources of man-made carbon dioxide put together. More still comes from animals and bacteria, which produce about 150 gigatons of CO2 each year, compared to a mere 6.5 gigatons from humans. An even larger source of CO2 is dying vegetation, from falling leaves, for example, in the autumn. But the biggest source of CO2, by far, is the oceans. Carl Wunsch is Professor of Oceanography at MIT. He was also visiting professor in oceanography at Harvard University and University College London, and a senior visiting fellow in mathematics and physics at the University of Cambridge. He is the author of four major textbooks on oceanography. The ocean is the major reservoir into which carbon dioxide goes when it comes out of the atmosphere or to, from which it is re-emitted to the, the atmosphere. If you heat the surface of the ocean, it tends to emit carbon dioxide. So similarly, if you cool the ocean surface, the ocean can dissolve more carbon dioxide. So the warmer the oceans, the more carbon dioxide they produce, and the cooler they are, the more they suck in. But why is there a time lag of hundreds of years between a change in temperature and a change in the amount of carbon dioxide going into or out of the sea? The reason is that oceans are so big and so deep, they take literally hundreds of years to warm up and cool down. This time lag means the oceans have what scientists call a memory of temperature changes. The ocean has a memory of past events uh, running out as far as 10,000 years. So, for example, if somebody says, oh, I'm seeing changes in the North Atlantic, this must mean that the climate system is changing. It may only mean that something happened in a remote part of the ocean decades or hundreds of years ago whose effects are now beginning to show up in the North Atlantic.